everyone, it's Shari here today and I am going to be showing you how I made this fun rainbow magic iris card. So I'm going to start out with some watercolor paper. You could use white cardstock, I just thought I'd use watercolor paper because it's a little more sturdy and for something different. And I'm going to be using my stitch circles. Now this is the small and the large together. I'm going to start with the largest stitch circle because it is slightly larger than the ring that we're going to cut for the magic iris. So I'm just going to stack these circles inside each other. They're going to nest pretty well. And I'm going to cut them all at once. Now the smallest one is a little smaller than the inside of the magic iris ring. So we're going to make sure that we cover up that whole ring. And once I've got them spaced, evenly between all of them which mine happen to stack pretty nicely except for that big one I just make sure that it's evenly spaced all the way around. I'm going to hold them all together with some washi tape and run it through my die cut machine. So I'm going to cut all these rings at the same time basically. So I'm going to end up with five rings and then I'm going to color these with distress inks. So you could also do this, you could cut them out of colored cardstock or pattern paper. All you have to do is cut one ring at a time instead of cutting them all like I did. So I'm starting with the largest ring and I did some festive berries distress ink. I'm going to cover this next one with carved pumpkin. Then moving on, I will do mustard seed for my yellow. Twisted citron for the green. And then I'm going to use peacock feathers for the blue. It's more of a teal and that's because I'm going to use the teal spiffy speckles paper for my background. So you can see I've got these all colored with my distress inks. Like I said, you could do this out of colored cardstock and they all fit together perfectly. Now I'm going to glue them to this ring. Now this is an extra ring. It's not one of the rings I'm going to use to make my iris. So this is a fourth ring. I'm going to hold them together with some washi tape and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of liquid glue all over that ring. You can see I've flipped my rainbow over and then I'm going to flip this over and glue it to the back side of those. And I'm doing it from the back side so I can make sure it's nice and centered. Now that little one in the middle is just barely going to hang on that edge you can see. So I'm going to go around with my glue, make sure that edge has glue all the way around and pop that middle one right in the center. Now I can work on putting together my magic iris. So you can see I've got three of the rings cut. I've got three of those sausage pieces cut and they're cut from that teal colored of spiffy speckles paper. And then I've got three of the stabilizers cut. I'm gonna take that flux capacitor piece there, that kind of strange looking piece, and I'm gonna line it up with the center of one of my rings. I'm gonna hold it in place with some tape and I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine. And this will cut the guides and the slots for the little sausage pieces here. So you can put the tab of each little sausage piece into the slots that this created. And then I'm just going to snug them up to the sides to where they match up with the ring of the iris. So once I've got them all in there, you can just make sure they're snugged up to the outside edge and you can see how those edges line up with the ring that we cut out of white paper. Now I'm going to use the mini glue dots. This is the mini size. This is 3 16 And I'm just going to put a glue dot on each one of the X's that the die created on the end of these sausage pieces. So three dots, one on each piece. I'm just using my craft knife to put them in place. And once all three of those are on there, then I can layer one of the other rings, the solid rings that I cut, right on top and attach it right where those glue dots are. Now I can flip it over and I can put my stabilizer pieces on. So you want to use those little guides that the die creates and you're just going to put some adhesive from the inside of the circle to the outside right where the guide mark is. Then you can see exactly where to put your stabilizer. 
you're going to line up that inside curved edge with the inside curved edge of the ring right between the little markings that it creates. Once those three stabilizers are on, we're going to flip it over and we're going to put our little tab that we're going to pull. So I cut it out of some sunflower cardstock. I'm just going to put some adhesive right on the end of it. And I'm going to line up the curve with the inside curve of the ring. And I'm going to put it to the right of one of the stabilizers and make a little V down there at the bottom. So the stabilizer and the tab will create a little V shape and the inside edge will line up with the ring. Now I can add the third ring on top. Make sure it's lined up with the ones below it. And then I'm going to add some adhesive to the rest of the stabilizer piece sticking out there. And then I'm just going to gently fold those over onto the other ring. You don't want these too tight. So you're just going to gently hug it over. And when you do so, it will not go all the way to the edge which is what you want. If it's all the way to the edge, it's a little too tight and then you're not gonna be able to move your iris. So just gently hug it over, make sure you have some room to move. And at this point, you can kind of test it. I always have trouble holding it in the right place to where my things will move when it's not attached to the card just yet, but things are moving just fine. So now I'm gonna work on my card base. I have the same teal colored spiffy speckles paper and I've cut it out with the largest stitched rectangle so that it fits the whole front of my card. And I'm just adhering that down to a card base. So I actually took my rainbow and I sprayed it with some glitter dust spray. This is iridescent glitter. I took that outside in the box and sprayed it. And now that it's dry, I am going to attach it to the magic iris. So I'm just using liquid glue and then I'm going to lay that down on there and I'm going to flip it over. I'm using the liquid glue so I've got some wiggle room and I can shift it around and make sure that those circles on the back side all line up. Now I cut the little tab, the decorative piece, out of the same yellow cardstock because I kind of want this to blend with the sun. Um, I did end up adding. A white arrow into that void after the fact which I could have done by cutting the tab out of yellow but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do yet so for right now I wanted to do kind of yellow on yellow and kind of make it hide but I did add a white arrow later so you could see it just a little bit better so now I'm going to put my sentiment in the center and I'm using some stamps from the offset sayings birthday. So it's going to say sending smiles your way. So I'm lining up the smiles, which is the big part of the sentiment. And I'm going to pick that up with my misty door. And instead of trying to line all those up inside that circle, I'm just lining them up with the grid once that middle one is in the right place. Then I can stamp it down on my card base. And then I can attach my iris. So I'm putting adhesive just where the stabilizers are on the back. Nowhere else because you want to be able to have it move. So I started closed so that I made sure the tab was in the right corner where I wanted it. And then I'm going to open it up so I can see my sentiment to stick it down. Now for the sunshine. So my, my idea was to make the tab part of the sunshine. So they actually fit perfectly size-wise. I'm going to cut off a couple of those rays and actually cut one more off so that it fits behind the tab and it fits perfectly. So I'm going to use some liquid glue and I'm going to make sure that I have glue on all these rays so that when the tab is pulled one doesn't get caught. Sometimes I don't put glue on all the rays and just kind of let them hang out there but since this is where it's going to be touched and moved I wanted to make sure they were all glued down really well. I also used some simple puffy clouds and I cut out some of the same spiffy speckles. This is the purple, but it's the white on the, or the white with the purple specks. I'm using a little bit of seedless preserves to kind of just give the top of those just a little bit of color and a little bit of definition so they stand out from each other and it just doesn't look like a big white blob at the bottom of my rainbow. So now I'm going to use some foam squares to pop this up a little bit off the rainbow. 
and I'm just going to put these at the bottom. I just like the look of this rainbow being a complete circle. And I'm going to use thin ones, and then I'm also going to use a thicker one so that this one's popped up just a little bit more. I use thin ones on the big one, and I used a thin and a regular size foam square on the small one so that they're popped up from each other. And here's where I'm adding just the little white arrow. I just thought it might just need a little bit to see that arrow. And now I'm going in with my Copic markers and I'm just coloring in the letters of the word smiles to match the rainbow that goes around it. And then I'm also going to go over each of these letters with my glitter pen as well, which you'll see me do here in a minute. But right now I'm adding some of the iridescent bubbles from Studio Katia. So here is just adding a little bit of shimmer to those letters. And then the card is all finished. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how this card came together and I hope it brightens your day. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.